Hey, it's Chime Time, and this is an episode of Actual Chime Time. We're discussing today the importance of trench coats and how to use them, and what's important to look for when purchasing them, and things of that nature. And today we are going to be reviewing this here trench coat, which I believe is an Italian naval style trench coat. It's got like a darker gray, almost slate blue kind of hue to it, even though like it feels bluish, but doesn't actually have much blue going on. It's actually Armani Exchange brand and it's a size small. I wouldn't expect you to find this on the new market. You might be able to find it used because it was from the 2019 design catalog for fall or spring. Um, and this was purchased in the Fifth Avenue store in Manhattan for like $450. So I don't expect trench coats to cost this much. They should cost anywhere from like 100 to 250 it would be very reasonable. Um, this is made of a tough and durable like denim. So you do want yours to be tough, but not too heavy because there are a lot of fabric as it is and it is actually um, gonna be heavy no matter what. So the lighter the fabric, the better. Uh, and breathable, I mean, cotton gets wet and doesn't dry very easily, but um, this is not really for the rain or weather. This is actually for things kind of like this pandemic or virus that's going on because of the fact that it covers your butt, especially when you're sitting down on a subway so that part's really, really important. You know, you wanna have a uh, article of clothing that keeps like your jeans kind of from getting too infected because maybe you might wanna wear them inside of your house after you've returned from the supermarket or like I said, riding the subways. Um, so that really keeps you in contact. You wanna take this, like this has been sitting in the hallway for like 12 hours. Um, the longer you can leave it outside of your home or in a hallway or in like a committed closet, it'll keep it from infecting the clothing that you uh, have or the rest of your belongings, you know? So what makes this so good is the fact that it is huge, even though it's a size small. Um, it's got kind of like elastic drawstrings so that if you needed to tighten you know, the bottom for when it's cold, it could be tight. Same thing with these buttons, you know, uh, it creates a seal, like denim isn't the warmest, um, but having these small attachments are something that you wanna look for that makes it really handy. Now, this, speaking of warmth, actually, you want something that's baggy enough that you can layer up so what I do is I usually have, and you don't want something that's too warm because then you won't be able to use it in warm conditions. So like it's nice and warm in here. I'd say it's about like 74 degrees, a little over the 60s. And that in itself is comfortable as long as you're not doing some heavy duty walking. If you, if you are doing heavy duty walking, having it open is suitable. But anytime it's in the 60s or the 50s, you're gonna wanna layer up. And you want something like a, a fabric that is large enough to layer up. Now, these are my holsters from Gato Monese. Um, and I like to wear my holsters because they have like my wallet and handkerchief and you know, just traveling essentials, my ID, stuff like that. And it's really good to be able to fit the sky over all my accessories and have it fit comfortable and still have me be like mobile and able to like, you know, climb fences or whatever. I mean, I'm not doing anything intense. I'm wearing my Ugg slippers right now. Uh, super comfortable. I recommend those too, by the way. Also pricey, but leather is my thing. And so are expensive goods because quality freaking works. Now, 
what's also cool is the zipper. It's a little bit harder to use because it's one of those double zippers, but it is cool because in the event that you need to run, you want as much mobility. So uh, a trench coat with a, like a really, really long zipper that doesn't have a double zipper, that's kind of like a no-go. If it's just buttons, that's okay. Like this guy has just buttons. Like if you're on the go and you don't want to fumble with the clumsy zipper, um, it'll do the trick, especially if you have a layer underneath. If you don't have a layer underneath, kind of the wind kind of goes right through this guy. Um, and speaking of pockets, this thing is made of pockets. Pockets, pockets, pockets. You got two big guys here. This is really good for shopping, especially in New York where they banned those little plastic bags that are uh, one-time use bags. So if you forget your bags, lots of storage. Um, if you're going on supply runs and you know that you want to stay in the house during like quarantine or whatever, and you're like, oh no, I'm running out of space to carry stuff. Like I usually rock my Red Wing canvas bag and when it gets quite full or quite heavy, I'm like, oh no. Like if you want to buy like um, something small, like, I don't know, like baby wipes, boom. Perfect baby wipe size pocket. And you know, little little tiny small stuff if you don't have your uh, holsters. Cargo storage is like so important, especially at festivals. <clears throat> um, people really don't get intimidated by any of this clothing, by the way. Like they just see you and they're like, oh, it's a person. They, they usually don't like look at as much as you're wearing. This stuff stands out because people are like, oh, what's, what's that, that guy about? But they're not like, why is he wearing these scary clothing or whatever? Like, I don't come off intimidating myself. Like, you know, I have like a smiley demeanor. That goes a long way. So I'll put that out there. Um, we got these inside pockets that are also quite big. And uh, I'm already packing some rations. We got some um, epic beef, bison beef jerky. Really good. Skip out on the actual beef with cranberry, that one's no good, but <laughs> any of the ones that have uncured bacon and cranberry, so good. And carrying rations is good when you're like out in the field for longer than expected uh, and already having them in there is good. You can, even if a friend's hungry, you know, you, you want them to keep their vibe up. So I have some food, you know, you have something to offer. Um, there also is a back pocket here which is quite cool for like your gloves, stuff that like you only need when you go outside. So, uh, you know, not in a pocket. You want your stuff that you want like full time in demand to be in the front, easy and accessible. Um, I forgot what I was just gonna say, but, oh yeah, so theft. I have had people on the J train, you know, uh, going toward Brooklyn, or East New York try pickpocketing me and you know it's funny because like I kind of like there's this one woman where my stuff was on the inside pockets and you know I could feel her hand it's inside her you know she, like she's going in she's going in she, trying to feel around she feels something but she can't get it to get to it because it's in the inside pocket and I just went like this like you know <laughs> scared the piss out of her she almost fell on the floor a whole bunch of people were like oh what the fuck happened like did, did he almost fall? Did she almost fall? Like, why did, why are they all falling? You know, turns out you're moving. Um, <clears throat> I'm just like an aggressive guy like that. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, you know, she, she, uh, she apologized. She's like, oh yeah, I don't know what was happening. I'm sorry. You know, <laughs> poor girl. She probably needed it. Um, yeah, so that's it for pockets. Unfortunately, I knew this was going to break when I, when I purchased it. Um, but I purchased it anyway. I even told the guy, I was like, this is going to break. But there are, here's an, an area where a button used to be. And here's an area where there was a button. And then there was a belt that was between these two buttons and looped so that I could wear this thing as a backpack. So it gets too hot. It just kind of hangs from your back. It is pretty heavy. Like if you're dancing, like this thing's going to really weigh you around. And that's how I broke it. Um, it actually held up for the dancing and then broke the second I went to put it back on the following day. Uh, but I'm okay with that. This is kind of thin. Um, like I said, this is make, I'm making this video not just to show off trench coats in general, but also pandemic stuff. I'm going to get this fixed 
but the pandemic is preventing me from being super motivated to get that belt piece over to a uh, like a, a tailor and have it sewn in hardcore. But that's that's the plan. Um, and this is also cool because if you're tired, you can lay on it or you can use it as a freaking blanket. So like if you're um, at a festival at night and you're nowhere near camp, like this offers you comforts of laziness. And also if you're on the road, if you're like a vagabond or something, or you're just traveling during the pandemic and you get stuck somewhere, like this is like a, like a tent and a bed, you know, it'll save your life. Uh -uh. And that's about it. Uh, like other materials for trench coats, uh, silk is actually really good. It's soup. It's a lot lighter than denim and it'll keep you nice and warm and it's even softer. Now silk isn't too popular and it's going to be a little bit more money. However, I got a trench coat that size, less zippers and buttons and grommets and everything going on for, um, a hundred dollars. I got it at discount. It was selling for like 125. I was able to talk them down. Um, that one was bought on the West coast. It was very much more fashion designy. Um, and then, uh, other hints and tricks. I had something and I forgot it. Oh, well, you know, that might be the end of the video, but, uh, rats. I can't, I can't, can't remember it, but yeah, silk's, silk's really good. And just, these are important times and these are important tips in general. Everything I ever show on my channel is like utility inspired and also, it's cool because, like, it's just a form of expression, like, that manifests in itself. Uh, or it could just be inspired by fashion and design and expression primarily. But there's a utility side to it. And I'm really happy to tell you that because it's, like, the best of both worlds. Yeah. So, I'm Chime Time. This is Chime Time. Thanks for watching.